back to this Florida series. Uh, this is the last leg, the last video of the Florida trip. Um, it's rainy outside here uh, and watching these videos back as I was editing them has been uh, a little bit sad. Uh, however, um, it was a good time had by all. Um, so I'm going to start off with uh, obviously getting up at Cabana Bay uh, in the morning and heading over to Volcano Bay. Uh, so here we go. I just thought I'd show you guys these cars outside of the Cabana Bay lobby entrance. It goes along with the 60s style drive-in movie theatre of the food court when you sit and have any food, so it's quite cool. We're just walking along the walkway along the side of Cabana Bay on the way to Volcano Bay. I won't be able to film much today with the being a water park. That's how close the Cabana Bay is, one of the towers, you can just see the distance with what a beautiful blue sky. And we have managed to get a seat right next to the end of the Lazy River. It's an amazing water park this, and I mean, blue sky, the umbrellas to keep it cool, and it's brilliant. A trip to America is not complete without a visit to Bath and Body Works. And this is the first time I saw a hot reborn for all of friends fans out there. Quick stop in Abercrombie and Fitch. We're now heading to Tin Roof where we've got a reservation and music bingo. This thing I was on when we walked in, um, the music bingo doesn't start till about 8, uh, so we've got a good hour with uh, his singing, which is great. It's a little bit of a sports bar, but primarily it is a live music venue, which I love. It's in the middle of Icon Park, so if you're in the area, get yourself down here. Get ready for music bingo now. It's always rammed for music bingo, so I would make sure you book beforehand. Music bingo is every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock, and you can win prizes. I can't believe how good this is, and we've even got a Disney round, which is absolutely brilliant. I love Disney. Just to show you the location, it's right next to the big wheel at Icon Park. We're now in a star flight, it was in the dark, and it makes it even worse. It's actually just giving us a creeps looking at it now. I mean, I can only describe uh, being held on by dog leads, that's how thin uh, the metal straps were um, holding the seat to the top. Um, I would never do it again, it freaked us out. last day in its home day so I thought I'd give you a trip around the laundry room. It's quite small, three washers, three dryers, buy some softener uh, and uh, some toners. We're just heading off to Denny's for our final breakfast near the hotel. Then we're heading to Universal for the morning. Please watch your step. The park's pretty empty which I'm really surprised at but I have heard that the Hogwarts Express is on the day so we're going to do that. This guy is the prelude to Marilyn Monroe coming out and the girls. Um, I do want to get a video of them because I haven't seen them yet, but uh, I don't want to wait too long here. Wow, this is like heaven. I just would stay here all day. Quite sad getting the last view of the holiday uh, like this. It's just our luck as well, perfect weather on our last day when we've had a lot of rain and we've been here. As a train coming back in from Islands of Adventure. It's a shame this hasn't been running all week. Um, there's only me and the wife yet, but the kids would have loved this.
I said, Islands of Adventure now. We're just getting off the train. Uh, we have done Escape from Green Gods already. Uh, we're now going to queue for Hagrid's. Hagrid's was amazing. I'm so glad I queued that for that 60 minutes. Uh, we're just heading through Zeus Landing now. And we're taking in the last sights of the Hulk and the Velocicoaster. We're just going to head back to the hotel now and get ready to go to the airport. Just been given the gate now, 244. And we're just heading straight down into the other side of Terminal C. There's not much open yet, mm -hmm. apart from this little shop in this terminal. Mm -hmm. Gotta admit, this plane sounds very rattly. I'm gonna try and get some sleep as I've got a five and a half hour drive from London to Newcastle when I get back. Just being told that there's a problem with the aircraft, so we're gonna be heading back. They don't seem to be able to pressurize a cabin. It's the first time I've ever experienced this, uh, that vapour is uh, the fuel getting dumped over the sea because uh, I can't land with the amount of fuel I've got on board. Um, so it's going to take a little while, we're going to circle around and dump all this fuel and then land back at Terminal C. Coming in more circles and we should be ready to land. We've been going around for about an hour. This is pretty groovy in sight. Uh, we're not allowed to leave the runway until we've been cleared by the emergency services. This is obviously more of a precaution than anything else, but uh, it does look quite ruined, um, but I'm trying not to, to worry about it. for ages uh, with no information. I just want to know what's happening and he has another dude uh, joining the party as well uh, just to check we're all out. It's now midnight and um, we've been put up in a hotel near Disney Springs. I just want to interject here uh, to give you a little context of um, the issues surrounding obviously the flight returning. Our flight was 20 past 5 leaving Terminal C. Uh, we flew for about an hour, uh, was circled around for about an hour, I returned back, was sat on uh, the stand when we were allowed back off the runway uh, for about two hours um, and then we had to go downstairs and organise um, obviously the next available flight. Uh, a lot of us got on to uh, the next available flight which was 24 uh, hours later, so the same flight. Um, that was great. However, two of our party um, who were on a separate booking uh, were meant to be coming back uh, the next day at 8 o'clock in the morning, then getting on a flight to Miami, then a five hour wait, and then from Miami all the way to London. Um, didn't make sense because we had a car booked for driving home from uh, Gatwick the next day so it wouldn't have worked um, and plus by the time we got back to the hotel they probably wouldn't have stopped because I would have had to come back straight back to uh, the airport again wasn't great we spent a lot of time there um, we had to go and get the cases again organized taxis so we needed two taxis because there was nine of us all together um, absolute nightmare um, so anyway we got all that sorted that's why we didn't get back to uh, the the hotel till uh, midnight very very tired uh slept as well as we could i mean the hotel that we got put in the courtyard by marriott um yeah disney springs absolutely beautiful hotel so i recommend that you if you want to stay in that area you consider that hotel uh, and then that left us we couldn't even do anything in the morning because we were kicked out at 10 o'clock so um not the greatest experience considering we've had um lost baggage on the way there five cases um obviously uh we've had uh, issues with the flight uh, so we've got 24 hours in um, Orlando again not that we can do much with it but we've got an extra 24 hours uh, and then obviously we've got the five hour uh, five and a half hour drive uh, the following day uh, which exhausted is not the word but I'll let you 
continue to look. Although this hotel is miles away from the airport, it is actually a quite nice hotel, um, but we didn't get to experience much of it because we got in at midnight. Second attempt, uh, 24 hours later, the uh, flight is absolutely jammed. I don't know if this is for sale, but imagine trying to get this one on the flight. Oh, hello. Second attempt, here we go, hopefully get home this time. So after an unsuccessful attempt to show Bailey R2E2, uh, I had to bring it upstairs. Uh, this is uh, R2E2 with all its noises, so here we go. When I originally booked this, it was $99. Um, however, when you get the desk, that asks you if you want the extras, so the bag and uh, the personality chip. And uh, it is $179 uh, for all three, so that's what I paid because I'm a sucker. But it is a once in a lifetime thing and an experience in itself, so who knows when we'll go back again. And that's it for our Florida series, if you like, um, and for our trip. Um, yes, we're looking forward to coming home. Obviously, the delays didn't help and we're pretty tired. And I did bring the COVID back, which wasn't great. However, there were time that we didn't have any issues were great um, and I just want to tell you one last thing um, they lost a bag on the way home so that wasn't great so now we've had lost bags there lost bags on the way home uh, obviously delayed flights for 24 hours um, not the greatest experience um, as of now recording this little section of the video uh, it is a month later um, or just over a month maybe even five weeks um, since we landed in Orlando, so since I lost the cases and we've had to shell out uh, X amount of dollars and I still have not got them dollars back um, or claimed back from uh, British Airways. So I'm getting a bit annoyed at that, but you know, uh, it was life once in a lifetime. Drini hadn't been there for 25 years, we enjoyed it. Um, but, you know, a little bit of a, a dramatic beginning and end into the, uh, to the holiday. Um, so that's that's all from there. From the next video, um, I'll be doing a review, uh, a complete review of the of the, um, of the holiday, uh, the hotel, etc. Um, and it'll be going back towards um, obviously my adventures with Bailey uh, until the next adventure on uh, foreign soil. Um, but there's big things coming uh, in my life um, and. I might take the channel in that direction as well um, so um, I'll let you know that uh, when that comes around and what decision I've made um, but that's all for this video if you have liked it give it a thumbs up as usual um, not subscribe to the channel so you can see all the videos that come out and me and Bailey who's now scratching the sofa will see you next time